here today for the Vogue November issue CFDA shoot. It's so unbelievably exciting. It's with Raquel Zimmerman. This is my first time working with Peter Lindbergh, and I'm such a fan. On about fashion photography, it's always be positive. That's how you make good pictures. What a surreal moment. I mean, I know it's not for you, but it definitely is for me. No, no, look. Oh, here we go. It's beautiful, huh? Mm -hmm. We've got men's and women's looks, 30 models, most of them dressed. Special makeup, painted hair. Each of them is a character for people who have traveled and they're in a different place than where they were originally born. And these are the outfits that they wear based on where they're from, their history, their original culture, their origin, and then where they actually are now. Fashion week, it's not the most important part um, because in a way it's an unlevel playing field. You know, you, you know, certain brands do shows, certain people don't. During fashion week, we sell shoes by setting up my home, almost like a showroom. The judges and buyers and retailers come and then they look at my shoes. I want to show them that I'm serious and passionate about it and, you know, and take their advice um, on board, definitely. It's all part of the competition because, you know, we see them from many different angles. Every time we see them, it's an opportunity for us to get more understanding of you know, the scope of their line, how big they can be, where they're going, how they view themselves, and having that opportunity to really be more intimate with the clothes is so important. This is an opportunity to really walk the judges through everything in the world that I've created. This is my new palm sweater. Each piece is hand dyed. So this is the charcoal to the indigo gradation. So just being able to create Items like this is just, it's taken me on a trip. I love it. I'm excited because we're expecting all of the CFDA judges. This collection was inspired by a fantasy encounter between Peggy Guggenheim, a painter, and the sea. It's almost like we're at the bottom of the sea. That's kind of the idea. For me, I don't go in it with any preconceived notions. I just want to see how it all strikes me and, you know, how I get inspired by what she's doing. I was a little surprised when I saw this in a, in a, in a, in a great way. Yeah, I was very inspired. No. Ah, well, felicissimi. Siamo molto contenti, molto felici di questa giornata. Being at the shows during Fashion Week is much more about judging a brand or a designer on their individual strengths as opposed to being in competition with someone else. Our presentation actually was inspired by The Great Gatsby. So it's like a night out in the 20s, either at Great Gatsby or the speakeasies. You have the dancers with the big band, with a singer, with like cigarette girls. And it looked really nice. To be able to show my jewelry in New York for the first time is such an exciting honor. I'm excited about really stepping into a world of color. I've done a lot of custom cut pyramids, adding them with some opals and some rubies. I think the whole mood and atmosphere of this collection is definitely more dramatic and bold than I've ever done before. And there's an edge and darkness to this girl that in my first you know, two or three seasons, wasn't, she wasn't yet out of her cocoon. But right now I'm excited. We have the models here, the hair and makeup looks amazing, the clothes are looking good, and I'm excited for people, my friends and family in the industry to come see the collection. The whole theme of the presentation is clarity. I shot a film with my friend Robert Bryant. It was all about the simplicity of the work and sort of the architectural feel of it. Tonight is the night of our show. We'll be presenting our new collection. Uh, not just to the buyers and to the press, but also to the judges in the fashion fund. They never emphasize your spring collection as something that they're judging. I think it's probably one of the most important elements. I think pulling it together while under the pressure of the fund, it can make or break you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.
something that you all brought us together. Thank you. Being successful in our industry is more than just making great clothes. Making great clothes is a big part of it, but I think for designers to be successful, they have to be so much more than that, and that's the tough thing. Each one of those times that we see them helps us better understand and judge, you know, what their talent and potential is and uh, how we might end up voting.